Good afternoon folks, um, I'm here to show you how to do some cleaning, although we all know how to clean, Dawn feels that they have a system that makes it efficient, especially if uh, you're doing, going to be a licensee, and you can be a male to do this job as well as being a female. So here we are in a kitchen, which happens to be in a commercial building, because commercial or domestic kitchens are very much the same, and we use the same techniques to clean them. You might be wondering why I'm standing here with a bucket of cleaning products. Well, you may arrive at a place like this and walk in, open under the sink to get out the cleaning products and lo and behold, ain't nothing there. So rather than be embarrassed that, about not being able to do the job, we carry a basket of basic products with us. In this basket, I've got microfiber cloths, yellow one, pink and blue so we can assign them to various jobs during the various things during the job. With these cloths you can basically clean a whole house without using toxic materials. We use environmental products for that reason because our, our signature is for environmental beautiful smelling products that do a great fantastic job. So what's the first thing you do when you arrive in a kitchen? Well first of all you have a look around bit of a mess so we're going to clean up a bit first before we actually start cleaning so the first thing I'm going to do is clean the cup cups off the table put them over on the sink now I'm going to spray and wipe the bench top or kitchen bench at this stage and I'm going to use an antibacterial general purpose spray and wipe by the way, have you noticed how wide I've got the cloth? It's not like this, because screwed up like that, you can only do a little area at the time. Open it right up, you do a much bigger area so it's more effective and quicker. So we're going to just give it a light spray, put our bucket on the ground out of the way, and wipe the table down. Another thing you might notice is that I'm doing it in a fairly methodical way. I'm not going up and down and over the place. That means I'm not going to miss any area. I've picked up the crumbs in my cloth across to the rubbish bin. I could have just brushed them on the floor because I'm going to vacuum anyway but I've chosen to put them in the rubbish bin. The next thing, we're going to move to the sink here. I'm going to wash up these dishes so I'm going to put some water in them in the sink. By the way, chucks, Ugh, terrible. I leave germs, they don't really clean properly, so I throw them out. These are much better. All right, water in the sink, put a dishwashing liquid, and I'm now going to put the cups and that in the sink. Leave them to soak a little bit while I do some other things. into the bin. Now we're going to start giving the kitchen a general clean and we normally start from top and work to the bottom. So I'll get my general purpose spray which again is that bacteria side so it will kill germs as well. Start with doing the front of the cupboards up high Paying particular attention around the door handles because that's where most of the fingerprints catch. With these products they dry fairly quickly so it leaves no streaking. Be 
because of the products we use, you don't need a lot of them to spray on or use because they're very concentrated and very effective. Now you notice I'm going from side to side. You could go up and down if you want to. 